we've been to this one before, remember? Yeah. Looking for no, I, Andrew and Becca. I've been in there. It looks abandoned, though. Yeah, it does. That old lady probably died. Remember, they had a lot of weird shit in their house. Yeah. Oh, there's a cat. Hey everyone, it's John and Alex here at Fenrir Recovery and Investigative Services. Um, I'm John. You know my partner, Alex. Hi. Um, like I said, we are investigative services. We are private investigators as well as bounty hunters. And today we're sitting up in a, oddly enough, another fucking trailer park. And uh, we're trying to serve process, these papers here, on a guy who's been hiding from some lawyers for a while now. And... Uh, We've had to find them, and now I have to go give him some papers. Um, part of the legal process here in the United States, you know, if you're being sued, you know, you have the right, your accuser has the right to, you know, to see you in court, and these folks just dodge it and dodge it and dodge all these uh, letters, emails, certified letters. They've even sent the cops out a couple different places to serve them, and they haven't been able to find them or locate them. Alex found these folks, and their cars are right fucking there in front of me. And uh, we're just waiting for this dummy to step outside so I go charge him and uh, give him some paperwork. Yeah, well, and it, it's, uh, it's worth noting that you have a right to due process in court here in the United States. And they need to be able to prove definitively that if, if you have been served with a summons, that you've been served with it. And so that's part of the reason that an actual person is involved in the process, because then you have a person who can sign an affidavit or provide proof that, hey, this person was served with this summons, this subpoena, whatever it is. Um, and if they try to deny it in court, you have evidence right. from an, a third party uh, proving that they've been served with it. Right, so. yeah, you can't be sued behind your back. Yeah. You know, that's, that's the thing. Although, once this person is served, this gentleman, once I give him this paperwork and I sign an affidavit for the lawyers saying, yeah, I gave this joker the paperwork, he knows what's up, and he decides not to show, he'll be held in, con in contempt of court, probably pick himself up a warrant um, for contempt, not, you know, major criminal bullshit, but They'll have a warrant, and it depends how frisky uh, the cop feels when he pulls you up for your traffic stop, if you want to get taken in or not. Um, you just can't stop thinking like bail, though. <laughs> I can't stop thinking like, of fucking bail. We do private, we're, we're doing, as you know, private investigations work now, and it's a completely different game than bail. There's some crossover, like, of course, here we are in a trailer park. And also, Imagine you that. found this guy <laughs> the way we find criminals. Yeah. You know, you um, found well, this, this guy. Well, this guy has a history of arrest. He's not that He's got different. like a dozen <laughs> aliases. He's got a history of failing to appear in court. This is not... This dude has a long history of shitbag behavior, so it's it mirrors bail, except, and like we were talking before, I can't get out of my head. I'm going to go stomp that door and pull this fuck out of his house. John, got, John wants to pull the guy out of his house, and I'm like, no, you just hand him the file. That's it. You I just know. Just hand him the I'm papers. Like, That's all we're getting paid for. I'm, you can't arrest him. I know, and I don't, you know what? It's It seems like catch and release, right? Like you catch this big fucking fish, and you just put it back in the goddamn water. That's what this is, and I get it. Yeah, but you know what? On the upside, we don't have to put some random person in the back seat of my car. There is a big upside. There's a giant upside to this kind of We work. also get paid by the hour for it, which is cool, so... Yeah, I mean, we're making money sitting here, which is better than bail, where if we drove home empty-handed, we'd just be shit out of luck. Um, this dude's in here. I'm looking at both his cars, registered to the people that he's known. He's in this fucking house. I just want him to come out, just because that's how I am. I mean, you mm -hmm. sit here at a certain amount of dollars per hour, which is awesome. It's a shitload of money. You're like, yeah, the longer the better. We make all this money. I'm like, fuck that. I'm going to kick that door and grab this dummy by the ears mm -hmm. and take him to jail. I mean, it's... You can't do that. I know. I know. Okay. But I know. But I didn't look check it out. <laughs> Get videotape evidence for the court. Um, anyway, we've been here for a couple hours. We'll stay here a few more. We'll stay, uh, well, as long as it fucking takes, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And, well, and this may be, this may not be the best time of day. I mean... This is the first time that we've been to this new address for him. So, um, you know, just trying to do a little recce on it, figure out what their habits and patterns are. And their habits and patterns seem to be sitting in their house in the middle of the day on a weekday. So. Sitting on their dead asses <laughs> at noon. But on a weekday. We don't really even know what these people, what this guy does for a living. Um, and there's some strange, like, 
LLC registrations with a church and we went to the location of the church and it's a random business suite so I don't actually know if it's there's some money laundering act- or some yeah, bullshit going on I don't know on. if it's an actual church or if it's some sort of a front so if it were a real church I'd be there on Sunday and I'd jump up and they'd be like oh this guy's got the spirit and I'd run forward <laughs> that would and I'd be slap incredible. him with fucking papers man that would be amazing <laughs> I'd be like speaking in tongues and shit <laughs> doing the fucking Jesus fingers and I'd charge up there and they're like he's got the spirit and I'm like hey motherfucker here's your paperwork you've been served and uh i would do it i would totally do it I, well no i don't doubt that but I don't doubt it. there's uh, not the church is bogus man. yeah i know fun. it's it's like a it's just a random business suite with like windows like curtains over the windows there's no signage out front at all no facebook um, group yeah it's that's it's the telltale strange, sign of so, bullshit you um, show me a bunch of old churches that don't have a facebook group come on now yeah, Come it's on, uh, it's a it's a weird situation. I mean, a lot of like we were serving process last week on three different people, and they were all full citizens with jobs. We were serving them actually at their jobs um, in in, in a child peasy. custody case uh, with a, you know a teacher and some uh, administrators. Yeah, administrators, and um, so a lot of a lot of times this this process service work you're serving process on people who are full citizens, but We've also, in the past month, had two process service cases where the defendants were fully our people, like our bail people. Yeah, um, not so wanting to be it's got. A, it's, a, it's a variety of work. It's definitely a different game than... Yeah, for sure. I like it, though. It kind of... There's an element of surprise of, like, you never know. It's got the right element of fucking weirdness that I require for a job. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. You know, and we'll come back. Maybe we'll, uh, if I get to grab this guy, I'll show you guys. So the funny thing is, we've actually been to this trailer park for bail skips before. Two of them, actually. Remember, we picked up that young girl. It was years ago. It was like 2016 in the in the trailer here. Oh um, right, right, right. She was she was like 21 years old. Remember, they had pit bulls that charged me. The yeah, lady, exactly. The lady said, uh, and then the girl tried to hide in the back room. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the lady was like, don't worry, they're friendly. I'm like, okay. Big old dogs came <laughs> yeah. charging. It's on my Instagram, I think. But anyway, the uh, uh, she invited me in, and when the girl saw me, she jumped back in her bedroom, and I'm mm-hmm. like, come on now. Yeah. But so This place is ground zero for skips. Yeah, we picked uh, her up here, and then we had another guy in here about a year ago, and we spent, like, two full days in this in this trailer park and remember that there were the like the there's the meth trailer there's a meth trailer i was in that place they all knew my guy and he stayed there randomly and probably slept there on the regular um weren't there like there was something about mountain dew in that place so there, there were like was, 20 empty mountain dew uh, not 20 on the counter and about 75 or 100 empty mountain dew bottles everywhere else in the house like legitimately shit loads of Mountain Dew bottles everywhere. Two liter bottles, cans, a bunch of young tweakers running around the goddamn place. And then, always like Mountain like Dew. fucking always, there was one old kind of pedo tweaker who was like <laughs> running the fucking show. He was like this old creepy fuck who, was, who came out and was like trying to give me like some kind of logical explanation for why there's like 20 dudes in their underwear and 100 bottles of empty Mountain Dew lying around. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I don't care. I just need this guy. Yeah. And but no, and there's always like, that fucking guy. But in, in this one, yeah, that trailer. And now he's in jail. That yeah. That guy's in jail right that now. That guy's in jail right now. We've so, been there a thousand yeah, times. Yeah, this trailer park, we have some history here. <laughs> need to just rent one for an office. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, thank you. That's Christian. Oh, that's Christian. Uh-huh. All right. Mission success. Um, we saw what we believe was our suspect. We saw his wife take off in one vehicle. And we were waited up. We waited up, waited up. We decided not to go to the door when we saw her leave. We saw a second younger female that Alex determined was probably a daughter mm-hmm. um, through all the skip tracing. We watched her walk up the street. It was very curious. She went up and was hanging out on the corner. And I didn't really put it all together, but I looked at my watch. It was, you know, like 3 o'clock. And I'm like, maybe. And then sure as shit, the, the school, school bus. The school bus, yeah. So the school bus pulls up. 
and she two kids get off there and they start walking back to the house and I know this woman and plus her father our subject would not open the door for us there's no way they would yeah. they would clam up that trailer um, but through years and years of bail work we discovered that you can leverage kids uh, I jumped out of the car and I saw that she, as soon as she came around the corner up to her house with the kids to the front porch I jumped out of this car and I ran up there and I caught her on the porch the kids were all standing right there and I Asked for our defendant, not defendant, I'm sorry, <laughs> bail. I told you, he can't stop thinking bail. Uh, I, I asked for our guy, subject. our subject, <laughs> and she said, he's not here, he's at work. I go, well, where's he work? She said, well, I don't know, you know, no say. I'm like, you're full of shit. But yeah. he, he lives with you and you don't know where he works? Yeah, so you're, you don't know where your dad lives, but he lives with you. Okay. More than likely, he was in that fucking trailer. But this isn't bail. I didn't have to snatch him. And uh, when you serve process, you can do it. Uh, what's it called? Substitute service. In Georgia, I can't speak for other states, but in Georgia, you can do substitute service. So as long as there is an adult over the age of 18 who resides with your subject, then they can legally accept service for the subject if they are willing to. Right. So I had my GoPro on. I said, is our guy here? And she said, no, he's at work. I said, but he does live here. He stays here with you. And she said, yes, he lives here. I said, okay, what's your name? And she told me. And I said, he's going to be here. He lives here with you. She goes, yeah, this is where he lives and this and that. And I said, okay, well, will you give this to him when he comes home from work? This is time sensitive from the court. And she said, yes, I agree to do that. And I said, well, here you go. These are here's the court paperwork. Thank you very much, ma'am. Have a good day. And I was out. And that's all it took. Yeah, easy enough. Easy enough, except for the five hours of waiting in a trailer park. But um, <laughs> we're used to that. We're used to that. And uh, I liked it because I didn't get shot at, and I didn't actually have to grab him. I mean, I, when she said no, he's not here. In my mind, I knew she was lying. I mean, about everything she was saying. Uh -huh. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to use my, I'm going to say, I'm going to take a look around, but <laughs> I don't have to. Yeah. I was, it was like, okay, back up. This isn't bounty work. This is process exactly. serving. So John I was like, wants to be like, your address is on my paperwork. I'm going to need to look around your house. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to need to look around your house, ma'am. Uh, she probably would have let me. I mean, she was not, I'm like, like a pointy eared dog instead of a floppy eared dog. She was a little nervous around me. So anyway, that's that. That's Friday. Yeah, that was a good Friday. Yeah, I like it. I'll take I like it. it. I'll take that. All right, Didn't well. Didn't get shot. I'm um, ready for the weekend. Absolutely. Maybe uh, maybe you could grab some beers downtown or something. I'll think about that. I'll think about that. Twist my arm. <laughs> um, all right, well, cool. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Um, we're going to start doing more of these in, in sort of, I guess, a little bit of a vlog style. Um, with vlog. just the various that weird. Vlog. work that we do. So um, expect some, some kind of... Uh, vlogs coming where we're working bail cases. I know a lot of you like seeing the bail cases, so expect some of that content as well as some of our private investigations work mixed in. Um, and uh, yeah, just little bits of our weird world. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Have a good weekend.